Hello, welcome to Magician's Manor. My name is Jamal, aka Dark Magician. Please come in and have a seat. Today, I just want to do a quick little story about Dollar Crystal Ball, aka Katie Joy, and Molly Go Lightly. Now, this is interesting because I just haven't come across a story um, via different, you know, um, creators talking about it. And I was intrigued because I didn't know at the time what Dollar Crystal Ball and Molly Go Lightly were working together. So, I just happened to catch the live stream. You know, I caught um, a clip and I happened to find, you know, direction to the live in question. So I actually went and watched the live where Molly Golightly and Katie Joy were um, on panel together with Justin For All. So watch that. And I'm not going to sit here and lie. It started out as a very good live, it was a very good conversation. They were bouncing off each other very well. You know, they were discussing, like, you know, the goings on with Dre McCray and Vaughn McCray. And I actually found myself enjoying this live. Now, you know, as the live went on, you know, things were still going well until, in my opinion, Katie Joy brought up the tea she had from a source. And I was like, uh, I don't think this is going to be too good only because Molly from what I've seen in her, her cases she doesn't really talk about tea she tends to stick to facts and what's been presented publicly or what she what she has seen herself in print you know um I she doesn't really bring in the gossip from just based on what I've seen so far so I was like mm, this may not be a good idea but Teddy Katie seemed really excited to like to let this tea out so Katie picks up her phone. She starts reading what she's what she says she's received, and you know the live still went okay, you know, but you could see a shift in Molly's demeanor. I mean, she kept she kept it professional. She kept it, you know, they kept it going, but you could kind of see her mood change. And then Katie brought brought up some more um, quote unquote tea gossip or whatever information and it kind of just it didn't derail the live it just molly seemed to get less um engaged in my opinion it just it does the same the same temperament wasn't there and i don't blame her because this is a very very serious case was going on with this couple and I don't think tea or quote unquote drama should be like inserted into this because there's already enough going on with this case between, you know, Vaughn being moved, Dre and her actions on social media. You know, there's just so much going on with this that there really shouldn't be any tea involved. That's just my opinion because just due to the nature of the, this um, situation. So, you know, they finish up the live, and then later on, from what I understand, Molly Goldwally was uh, feeling some sort of way about, you know, some of the things that Dr. Cristobal said. So, you know, she took to her platform to let people know, hey, you know, I can't confirm anything that she has said. I just haven't had, I haven't seen any proof. You know, I can't confirm anything that came out of her mouth. And that's her right to do so, because I get it. Like, if you're sitting up there and someone's spreading lies, the first automatic assumption is that you agree with what the person is saying. You are going along with the narratives they're going with. And if you're not feeling that way, you need to say so just so people are aware like, of where you stand. So I saw no problem with her doing that. Katie got wind of this. Katie got mad. And it was just ridiculous for her to go on Facebook and, you know, release, you know, Molly's, like, mug shots and just be really, really ridiculous and spiteful. Now, that being said, she did go in about five minutes later and, you know, delete the post. I'm like, well, if you're going to save this stuff and put this out there, why delete it? Because you know people are already screenshotted and are going to send to Molly, which they did. And, you know, Molly handled it very well. She wasn't so much pissed at the mugshot, and she said so in a live. She's like, this is all right out here. This is nothing new. Do you know how much money I've made off this mugshot? She's all, I believe she said, do you want a mug with this mugshot? 
And so she wasn't tripping off the mugshot herself. She was pissed because Katie was trying to get her in a gotcha moment. Katie was trying to discredit Molly, like trying to elude that Molly isn't talking to the family, doesn't have sources, this, this, and that. And, you know, Molly struck back. And she's, again, she was involved in her rights to do so because Katie, as she tends to do when after people help her, just because they disagree with her, she wants to lash out and, you know, uh, try to tear them down. I'm like, how old are we, five? Like, no, you don't do things of that nature. Just because someone goes on their platform and says, hey, I disagree with you. You don't go and try to like trash them on the various platforms. If you had a real issue with Molly and what she said, why don't you just pick up the phone and call her directly and have that conversation? And you could have avoided all this, but no, everything with Kitty has to be public. Again, she has to turn everything about any story about her. So instead of her just like, oh, okay, you know, Molly has a different opinion than me, no problem. We can still work together. The the sole purpose, you know, is getting justice for Vaughn. And that's another sticking point for me. How are you how are you going to do a whole post about Molly and how you're not working with her and you don't like her and you're mad at her or whatever, whatever the post said. And then at the end say, like, you know, at the end of the day, like this should just be, you know, about Vaughn and helping him and, you know, this, this, and that. And I am paraphrasing because the, the post is deleted. And, and then say, you know, justice for Vaughn. I'm like, who does that? Again, this is just her, an easy way for her to get clicks and views. Her her viewership is down from what I understand. The drug, the Duggar drama is all dried up for the moment. So, you know, she's going to glom on to any story that you know she can get her hands on and she will use anyone to do it another example is when she she got this exclusive audio so instead of just inviting molly over and over to her panel and just as well let's say hey i have this exclusive audio i'm going to release it on my channel would you like to join me instead of just doing that and then giving molly the audio for her to use on her platform she tells Molly, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release this exclusive audio on my channel. Um, please direct all of your, you know, subscribers to come watch it on my channel. So, basically, Katie was just trying to use Molly for her following. And Molly, Molly has a very strong following. For her to have about a third less subs than Katie, she pulls in about the same viewership, which is really good. I enjoy watching Molly sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I know people have issue with, issues with Molly and, and about the way she covers things, and that's okay. You know, that's okay. Same thing with Katie Joy. People don't like the way Katie covers things. I don't like the way Katie covers things because it's all about her. It's not really about the people involved or the story. That it's basically for me, Katie likes to exploit situations for her own bank account. And that's just how I feel about it. You know, this didn't work out at the end of the day. I'm not completely shocked about by Katie's actions in the past. And you know, good on Molly for acknowledging that her Patreons and her members and her viewers did warn her about Katie, but she wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. And I get that. You don't want to judge somebody by other people's experiences, but there's a lot of experiences cataloged about Katie. I mean, Katie has her own anti-community. That that, that in of itself should kind of tell you where she stands and what she really is all about. But Molly gave her the benefit of the doubt. It took less than a week for Katie to turn on her. And now Molly's going to come for her as long as Katie keeps running her mouth about her. So at the end of the day, Katie, yes, you've done this again. You've burnt another bridge with someone who could really um, add something to your channel and who could really add some much needed, I want to say, credibility in the situation and, you know, some good knowledge and some good content because Molly, like, is very invested in this case. I've been watching um, her coverage when I can. And I find it very enjoyable and very knowledgeable. If I need updates on Vaughn McCray, I'm not going to Katie Joy. I'm going to Molly Goldwild simply because Molly's um, informed. You know, she's presenting the content well. She's sticking to the facts. And I 
thoroughly enjoy that type of content. So that being said, no, again, no shocker this fell apart. Was I kind of surprised that it fell apart so quickly? Like, AKA within a week? Yes, I, I thought it would at least last two. But this is Katie Joy we're talking about. She's always setting records for um, burning bridges. And I think she's almost beat her all-time record. If anyone knows if Katie's burnt a bridge faster, please let me know in the comments. That being said, have a great day. Magician out.